just left camp, packed up and left a bit late. We had a bit of a late night. So today, she today's Wayne's birthday too. So I'll probably have a late night tonight again. We want, really wanted to go and um, check out that canal down there. There's like a canal down there. Really wanted to go kayaking and and uh, snorkeling in between that canal. But we rolled out this morning and there's like 20 cars, about 50 people down there. So it's just overcrowded. Not really keen when there's that many people down there. So we're gonna push on and find a nice beach because we're all hanging to hop in the water, even though it's pretty cold, the water down here. Even this time of the year. So we better, better get back in the cars and hit the tracks. drive track expect overgrown vegetation narrow track soft sand washouts deep potholes and limited space to pull over and turn around or turn around that sounds like us all right why not reckon this is the track i'm just going to switch to low range and see how we go Dingo Beach, a spectacular view to say the least. So we were eager to get down to the water. Now off it in the distance you can see West Cape Power. That point there is the lowest or most southern place in Western Australia. Whilst we were daydreaming about being in the water and having a good swim because we were all eager to get down there, we saw a troop carrier, a Land Cruiser troop carrier struggle to get off the beach. Now he had three attempts to get off and out, which kind of said to us that we're going to have some fun getting off this beach. Head down this track and we figured out that that troopy that was, um, looked like he was stuck, he actually made it up because he was far off in the distance up the top of that hill that we got to come out on. So that's going to be interesting. We have two vehicles without lockers, so they're the ones that might struggle a bit. When you have lockers and you've got the right tire pressure, you can pretty much just crawl up. Um, even sand tracks like this, even if they're relatively soft, because it's usually hard packed underneath. But right now, it feels like we're driving into the ocean. Ah, just another day in Western Australia. Beautiful beaches, sunshine, and occasionally a car motion, but not today. We're at the beach now. Wayne has brought a uh, bit of surprise for us. What the hell is that? Well, uh, thanks to Tim's tires in Mount Barker, we uh, donated a tube to us. Uh, track the tube. <laughs> and, uh, pretty much six or seven people on there. That's pretty awesome, yeah. I was trying to get hold of a truck tube, but I didn't get it in time to surprise you. Yeah. <laughs> what size is that? I don't know, it's taller than here with a tall, so... <laughs> <laughs> we should have 
show when it's full. <laughs> Still got zero PSI in there. When you're out on a camping trip or a bit of an off-road adventure, always, always live the moment. Because before you know it, you're packed and you're on your way home. Bit of fun out in the tube, out in the kayak. I didn't even get my kayak out there, I failed miserably. We're having noodles for lunch from this beautiful location, beautiful beach. Looks like Wayne's been a good boy because there's no clouds above our heads. Wayne's birthday, birthday cakes. <laughs> Some rough. Here we go. Quick, 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 Come and blow it, Wayne. <laughs> All right. Hey! hey. Big happy birthday. Oh, thank oh, you. Birthday boy, you Wayne. He's one with the candle. <laughs> He's 52 now. 52 today. Oh. That's close. Oh. Oh. Thanks, oh, mate. Thanks. Oh. And shit too for me. I'm having to fall. Happy birthday, Wayne. Happy birthday, Wayne. Wayne. Uh, one for the cameraman. So after our lunch and cake, we're going to head back out there, have a bit more fun, and then. We're gonna have some fun trying to get up this hill, I reckon. But if, it, if that trip you can do it, I'm sure we can do it. Steep, soft sand hills or beach exits like this one should always be tackled as one vehicle at a time. Otherwise, you may end up with some kind of awkward traffic jam.
bit of a struggle getting off the beach. Wayne struggled a little bit in this section, but managed to get up with both lockers engaged. Uh, Daryl, Daryl's bottling me out too much. So we're now gonna try and snatch him from the hill. Um, I don't hold a lot of hope being on this angle, but we'll see how we go. I was about we'll to go all the way down to the beach and pull him from the start. Surprisingly, that worked out really well. I know. See where we're going. See the top, right? <laughs> See the top. I'll let you know. I'll let you guys. Oh, I better tell everyone else. I'll let you guys know how it goes on the way up. Uh, if I think that it's good enough for the next person to come up, I'll just pull it through. I'll just call you all clear, and I'll let you know how far I get up. Um, I'll see where that trippy got stuck before. See you at the top. First part will be easy. I have uh, I have the rear locker engaged only because we're going to do some a series of turns. Oh, it's going soft already. Well, losing a bit of traction on the front, but it's not too bad. Alright, I'm um, Torb's even come up the first bit because you got a bit of a ramp down to go to the next bit. Alright, coming up. Oh, stick on the left Alright, I'm in third gear low, but I'm probably going to. Second gear line now. Once you're all clear at the top torch, call the next one through, we can all fit up here. Hey, what do you reckon guys? Should we get Daryl in between us? Good idea. I'm all clear. I'll take the line. We have now reached, allegedly, or supposedly, one of the hardest beaches to get back off of, Bonholm Beach. We're sort of halfway between Albany and, and Denmark at the moment, um, and for some reason this beach is really hard to get off, so we've all lowered our tyres a bit more than what we normally would for beach. I've gone down to 11 front, 14 rear. The rest of the boys have done similar things, they're a bit lower than what they normally would. So, we'll see how we go. Um, I suspect we're going to be disappointed to the challenge and just make it up pretty easy. Um, but yeah, we'll find out. Started our final descent. Sounds like an airplane now. Just started our final descent to Bonholm Beach, and it's not going to be that easy to get up, but then again, not that difficult either. There's a lot of tight corners, and that's going to be the difficult part. Um, with, yeah, there's a few sticks sticking out as well, so I want to be a bit careful. 
careful coming up here. I've got enough new scratches as it is. Yeah. The drive down to the beach was very enjoyable, yet very easy, so we had no idea what was coming. <laughs> it might be a, a nine, camp in the dark. Nine o'clocker. <laughs> might be a nine o'clocker tonight. On Wayne's birthday. It's my fault. <laughs> yeah. Um, boys were camping the fish, but um, it's a bit too windy and the best spot to fish. And you can't camp down here either. So unless we're all there standing there with the fishing rods and you know. And you can tell there's no there's no signs of camping down here at all. So I'm pretty sure they'll be pretty strict on the fishing all night. So we're not going to risk it. We're going to get up that hill. Hopefully, fairly easy. It's just I reckon it's just the first couple of hundred meters. Yeah. Where are we going? Where are we going? Right, my truck, let's go. My truck, let's go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. That's what we're So this is the other track we wanted to try to get up because we think it looks easier than the one we came down and the sun is going down. So after watching the guys put the pedal to the metal, like literally full throttle, which I rarely do, I decided I should probably do the same. Soon we're struggling to get off this beach for me and Daryl. Um, I've checked my PSI, 
it was lower than what I thought, so I pretty much had the same as the boys in front of me. But maybe I'm just driving a bit too soft, so I'm just going to literally put foot to the floor, keep it around 3,000, uh, snatching him up at the same time. But he's going to be driving as well, so it shouldn't be too hard. With treads and max tracks. Right, uh, so me and Torben have made it to the top. Uh, we're just waiting for Ronnie and Daryl. Daryl's is lacking a bit of power with the 3 litre. So Ronnie suggested doing the old uh, daisy chain. Just pretty much just hooking up to another vehicle and you're both driving at the same time. Which uh, should make it a lot easier and a bit safer too. And it's getting late so we do want to get off this beach. And um, I think the boys are headed ready. So we'll sit back and watch. Well, I made it further this time, surprisingly, but we didn't get up. Using multi multicultural tracks here, treads and max tracks. Get individual cars up instead, but we'll do the same thing with the tracks. What we did there really worked, but we need to spread it out more. So I'm thinking one track opposite side, maybe a meter or two, a meter or two, a meter or two. Just keep going like yeah, that. Yeah, and then get a launch pad to go up, um, and then to the top. Yeah, I think I think that's the best way. And then if you end up here again, then from here we'll go. Because I think we might be able to get further up. Get further up there. Yeah. 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 If we can get you to the corner, that's gonna make life. Make life a lot easier. Yeah. yeah. Got it. 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 That didn't go too well. It's much too lumpy. Daisy chain just can't work on that unless you take a big run up. So we're giving up. Torben's coming down a hill and we're gonna take a different way out. Uh, hopefully there's an easier track. There's gotta be an easier track because we saw a few other tracks on the way down. This was a different sort of way in or exit. So that's what we're gonna look for now. It is 7.45 and I think we're still 50 kilometers from the nearest camp so I don't know fishing all night here <laughs> might sound like a plan we're already up anyway uh, haven't eaten yet been a long day